Hi guys, Jessica here with Hearts and Crafts, and today I am working on some glue gun uh, coral sculptures. So I already started, and I'm halfway through right now. Uh, I apologize if you can't see while I'm using my iPad, so... Okay, so... I'm gonna keep going, and what I did was I just cut off about uh, 8 inches each of wire, any kind of wire you like. Um, I bent it in a U shape like this. And now what I'm doing is I am covering it in hot glue. Just enough. Sorry if you can't see this one, you'll be able to see the other one. And I'm using a really small <laughs> small glue gun, crafting glue gun, because this is my second one. I made one already, but uh, I'll let you see that once I'm finished here. So yeah, all you have to do is put down your hot glue, and I like to go side to side to make like a bubbly kind of look. And it's okay if the glue goes off into its own little crevices and stuff, because you can just fix that later. Okay, so yeah, like I said, leave a little bit of space here at the bottom, so the where the wire is exposed, so that later on we can put wire around it to assemble them together. So this is the gluing part, and this part takes the longest, obviously. Sorry about my cleavage. <laughs> Yeah, this part takes the longest, so I am going to try to just show you guys. Back-to-back -back motion, I find, gives a good design. And if you get those little glue hairs everywhere, that's okay, it's not a big deal. So this is my first layer, and then after this what I'm going to do is turn it around and do a second layer on the back. So this does absolutely does not have to be perfect. It actually looks better if it's not perfect. It gives it a really cool, like, drippy look. Although they're supposed to be corals. Which in the end, they do turn out looking like corals. Yes, I'm using a small craft glue gun, so I have to use a lot of glue sticks. I'm going to buy a bigger glue gun for that particular reason. Okay. Almost finished here. And this is my very first tutorial. So sorry if it's not great. There we go. And one more, this little guy right here. And sometimes they move around, but uh, once the glue gets to them, they'll stop moving around like that. And a lot of this stuff you can just get at the dollar store, which is awesome. There we go. So that's my last one.
I'll give you a little bit of a better look. Don't mind all the paint, that's from the last one. There we go. So it looks kind of rough right now, but uh, it'll be better once we start painting. <laughs> so I will be back when it's painting time. Hi guys, I'm back and I am ready to start painting. So as you can see, I've put glue on both sides of my pieces. I've laid them out on a rubber silicone mat and I'm going to be using Cherry Blossom Pink and it's from the dollar store, Dollarama. And when I seen this color there, I was like, oh my god, that's so cool. Like, because <laughs> usually they just have the generic colors, but I found this and I found a really nice teal that I'll show you in another coral that I made. So, I'm going to start painting. Pour it out onto my tray. That. Okay. So I'm using a sponge because the first time I did this, I used a uh, I used a paintbrush, and it took like four hours just to paint over and over and over. So I've learned my lesson. I'm using a sponge this time. And you want to get a lot of paint on your sponge, and then just dab it on, like so. That way, with all the paint, you can get it in the crevices. And don't worry if it's poking through, or if there's bubbles or anything, because it'll adjust itself. And then, if the glue's poking through, don't worry about that, because we're going to be doing two coats. So, it's all good. That is going to be so pretty. Let's try and get in all the big holes. And if your paint's going everywhere on your mat, that's okay too because it's acrylic paint and it will just peel off or wash off. So just keep at it guys until you have all your pieces painted and I will see you back here when it's time to assemble. Hi again guys. Uh, so now we have all our little coral pieces painted and dry. Uh, don't worry if you have some spots missing or little dents or anything, you can fix that with the end result. So. What we're going to do now is take the, take some wire, I would say probably about five to six inches, if I can cut this, there we go. So take a few pieces, because you're going to need, okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start putting our pieces together and I do two at a time like this. So what you want to do is just go ahead and wrap your piece of wire around there. Doesn't matter if it's if you nick it, or if there's some paint coming off, like I said, that can be fixed. Just grabbing my pliers here so I can pull it tight. Okay. So, I'll go like that. And just keep winding it so it's nice and tight. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. That's the first two pieces. So sometimes what I'll do is I will just add in like this or like that, like crossways and kind of wrap it that way. Sorry, my nails are long and you probably can't see anything. But there we go. So yeah, you can wrap it this way. Basically, just keep on adding your coral pieces. And once you're done that, you can move them. They're very pliable, so you can make like all kinds of designs that you want. So, I really like buying put together, so, like the little claws together. So basically, keep on adding your pieces. There's quite a few more to go. And the next step after that is mounting it. It's very, very easy. All I did was cut a piece of wood and I took my finished piece. I did a big glob of uh, hot glue and then I pushed the piece down and I held it there until I was sure it was straightened or straightened and firm and then I fixed all my little imperfections with some paint and then I put some little sparkles in the middle there just to give it an extra pizzazz <laughs> and um, yeah so then uh, what I did after that was I just gave it a clear coat and that was it guys so I hope you enjoyed this and have fun making yours